Okay, last week we had to split this into two because it was just too important. I mean, we, didn't, we didn't want to. Important. We wanted to take the time that it That's needed. Uh, two of us voted to just stop talking about this. <laughs> but Matt Gorley does all the editing, and he, I guess, has uh, you know more power than we do. Yeah. And he uh, outvoted us and said, "No, let's keep talking about James Bond Arcana." Yep. So this is a quiz on songs that were done by popular musicians or bands that were rejected as the James Bond theme songs. Can I ask you a quick question? Sure. For, and this is for my own edification. Does this mean that they a bunch of artists were asked, or did these artists just blindly say, hey, I think I have a good idea for a Bond song, and they they prepared it and they recorded it and sent it in and it got rejected because that would be humiliating. I think for the most part they were all asked. I believe Johnny Cash is the one that did it unasked. Right. Yeah. That's amazing to to be if you're a you know if you're a huge group, huge singer, huge star, and you're asked to do a Bond song and then they they get it and go eh yeah Radiohead because we've already covered that yeah. But yeah. I mean, maybe they just sent in a bunch of weird noises. It, it is, you a know. Little, I mean, I'm, I, I it love have a hook. I love Radiohead, yeah. but uh, quite a while ago they they started, you know. Yeah. I, uh, God bless them. God bless them. Yeah. But they started, you know, uh, recording like uh, an elevator engine That's and then playing it backwards. What this is. It's a little. Uh, it doesn't quite land. This one. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, they don't kind of want you to. It's like yeah, you either think this is cool or you're dead to us. <laughs> okay, let's get back into it. Murderer. The year is 2008. Mm. The film, the much divisive Quantum of Solace. Ooh. Quantum of Solace. Very flawed script. Uh, well, there's a writer's strike, but otherwise I yeah, think well, it's then aging don't well. Then, what's that? It's aging well. Is it? Yeah. I watched it. I didn't think it made sense. Uh, it doesn't. But it's There are whole parts of it where they clearly don't have script pages because there was a writer's strike. Yeah. And Sorry. there's, there's a, a whole 10-minute sequence where you can see Daniel Craig waiting for the next page. <laughs> and then they hand it in on camera and he quickly looks at it and he, he makes it, his nose wrinkles like he smelled something bad. And then he says, the, I mean, that's terrible. Go back and look at it. It's, uh, it's 42 minutes in. Go back. I never saw it. Okay. Here are your four options. Yep. 2005. 2008. Eight. Yeah. Close. You were only three years off. Okay, and he just you. said it. I could do math. Thanks. Cold okay. play. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dame Shirley Bassey, the Brian Setzer Orchestra, or Sir Paul McCartney? So no. Yes. I am. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say Shirley Bassey. That's correct. Oh, good for you. That was don't great. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't no. do that. Oh, I'm happy for you. Oh, well, you got one right. Oh my God. That's nice. You just. Ugh. What is it when you bl take the wind out of your sails? Is that a thing? Yeah. Is that a saying? Yeah. That's what you just did to me. I was really excited, and then you ruined it for me. You're so happy <laughs> with yourself. I said good for you. Ugh. Ugh. Now, Ugh. We, we talked about this song because whether or not this goes on this episode or not, but someone on this podcast did a Bond song, and they uh, that was after the Shirley Bassey one was rejected, and it went to Amy Winehouse, then Jack White, and Alicia oh. Keys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Well, you can hear that one; it's good. Huh. Okay. Can you imagine? I mean, I, 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 you, you and I should work hard. I'm not kidding. Uh -huh. To get a Bond song, oh. I mean, at least to write it. Yeah. I don't. Th they're not going to let me sing it because it's going to take people out of the movie. Like, oh shit, that's Conan. I can tell it's him singing. I wish he was in the movie. Boo, he's not. And then the movie's a flop. First Bond movie mm -hmm. to flop. Mm -hmm. So that that can't happen. But I do think you and I should write a Bond song. I agree. Uh, it's just minor chords. That's all you got to do. Yeah, yeah. A lot of E minor. Yeah, a lot of E minor. And occasional that. A minor. Can you <laughs> yeah. can you write one without putting jokes in it? Like, can you write a sincere Bond, Bond song? Of course I could. Yes, no, of you course can't. I, no, I would just in. access my emotional core. We're going to be fine. Yeah. yeah. And it's a Bond song. Some of them are just ridiculous. It's true. <laughs> That's true. If you've ever heard the lyrics to The Man with the Golden Gun, they're insane. It's about, like, like ejaculating. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. He comes whenever he kills. Or oh. does he have a gun that shoots ejaculate? <laughs> it works both ways. Every time I talk like this, you're like, oh, you're bringing down the podcast. Oh, and no, I just brought it up. I yeah. just hit it over. The Hello. I know the difference, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so speaking of The Man with the Golden Gun, 1974, Man with the Golden Gun. <clears throat> yes. Queen. Mm-hmm. Alice Cooper, mm -hmm. Meatloaf, or Rod Stewart? Uh, 
I'm going to go with Rod Stewart. Conan, Rod Stewart. That's incorrect. Okay. I'm going to just say Queen because I love that. That's incorrect. So okay. Yeah. And we're going to do it again. So Alice Cooper or Meatloaf? What Sona. year is it again? 74. Sona. Sona. Alice Cooper. That's correct. Hey. I was going to say, well, you know what? It's too early to be you didn't, Meatloaf. No, you didn't say. Well, no, I'm just, hold on. I'm just saying you've got to calm down, Sona. It's, it's, <sighs> uh, it's too early to be Meatloaf. Meatloaf hasn't hit yet. Okay. Yeah, but you didn't answer it. Oh no! I so you, all your reasoning. Well, these games. Make sense. I'm sorry, games are beneath me. I'm I'm a Roman oh. emperor watching all of you scuttle in the. Because uh, we're tied now. Scuttle in the mud. It's because mm. we're tied now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You get so so I'm out of options and we're tied. Yeah. Um, <laughs> maybe what we could do. <laughs> well, you know what we could do because it doesn't always have to be a winner. And yeah. I mean, either way, I win. <laughs> I mean, I just win at life. Um, that's not the point. The mm. point is. Yeah. It was too early for Meatloaf. <laughs> it was. 74 is way too early for Meatloaf. Um, and I often think it's too early for Meatloaf. That's been one of my mo- That's my motto in life. <laughs> if I could get one thing written on my body, it would be it's too early for Meatloaf. You know what? Someone's going to come up to me who's heard the podcast and go, it's too early for Meatloaf. <laughs> and I'm not going to know what they're talking no. about. Because I forget everything after we're done here. That's the title of our Bond song. Yes. It's too early for meatloaf. All right, Conan, you just won. Congratulations. Thank you. I always do. Wow. I always do. You've lost several times. Uh, we certainly lost listeners. <laughs> we're bleeding. <laughs> we are bleeding listeners. Oh. We're hemorrhaging listeners. <laughs> Sorry about that. We'll, we'll get back on track. But that was informational. 